welcome to our show. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Where are you from originally? I'm originally from Mexico, Mexico City, to be exact. I was born and raised there, and I'm currently here in L.A. So you love being here in L.A.? Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite cities in the world. And, of course, like my dream is every actor's or actress's dream like, it's to be in Hollywood. So I'm so excited to be here. And yeah, I'm so happy with the show. It's going super well. I love that you guys love it. And if you haven't seen it, give yourself the opportunity because it's a lovely show and I know you can like it. Well, we'd like to tell us a synopsis of the show for those who have never seen it. Yeah, it's, it's a show about a woman who's... It's a re-adaptation of the show Ugly Betty. And it's like in Hispanic version. But we do Spanglish a lot, so it's an amazing show. It's about a girl who believes, who started to not believe in herself, but then suddenly she does, and everything changes for her. And it's a story about love, self-love, and a lot of beautiful things. You have to watch. I don't want to spoil anything. I understand. I understand. How do you feel to have the highest-rated show in the Hispanic and some English markets, despite the show being in Spanish? I I am so excited. I feel it's. When people connect to the story or to the, the the lead role that the character Betty, I think it's like a natural thing to happen. I never expected though. I wasn't expecting that because it's my first lead role. It's my first big your opportunity. first lead role. Yeah, and it's amazing that people liked it and people love it, and I'm so excited to to keep going through this acting world and in acting path. But I'm definitely super excited. Do they shoot in New York or they just do some of the work in New York? We did some of the work in New York, uh, more of exteriores, I don't know how to say that in English though. But you know like uh, we are filming Times Square, Grand Central Station, we did lo more locations and in Miami we were filming studio things like House of Betty and like indoor stuff. So it was an amazing experience to be there filming in the middle of Times Square. Because I've never imagined it, you know, as an actor is one of your dreams and I, I kind of did it and I can, and I want to keep doing it. Okay. You're looking good. How do you stay in shape? I don't know. I don't really follow diets or anything. I just do exercise. My mm -hmm. exercise is like going to the gym and do some cardio. I don't really do like hard stuff because I think I'm, think I'm naturally like skinny, <laughs> let's say. And yeah, I love makeup. So I just like to get creative with my makeup and like, you know, this has pink and yellow so, and that's what I put in my eyes. Okay. What is your favorite part of the work that you do? Mm, my favorite part of the work that I do? I think everything. I think, this is gonna sound a little bit silly, but I think I really have the best job in the world. <laughs> it's super fun. You can be whatever you want. You get to know people that also love what what they're, they're doing and you get to know amazing artists and get inspired just by talking to people around your same workspace and to connect and make people happy. I think that's the best part, that someone can feel connected to your character or to your art and that someone can stay happy and out of their cows in their minds. I think that's the best, to make someone feel good. Okay. When you're not acting, what can we find you doing? Uh, when I'm not acting, I I'll probably be on my phone, on Instagram, so follow me. No, <laughs> no yeah, I'll be like reading something or writing. I like to write stuff like poems and just my thoughts. Okay. Now, I understand you like to sing. Yeah. Yeah, I love to sing. And actually in this show, but in New York, I got the opportunity to sing this song Aquí Está Mi Amor, and it's on Spotify and it's everywhere. It was an amazing experience. I mean, right now I don't want to be a singer. I'm going to keep focusing on my actress career. But yeah, having this opportunity to sing the, the love theme of the series was awesome because every time that it was, you know, feeling love, the song was over there on TV and I was so excited to see it was my voice and I never expect that. So yeah, I like to sing. It's like, a, like another hobby that I have. Mm -hmm. and. I might do it professionally, but first, acting. That's my favorite thing. I hear you like to dance. Yes, yes, yes. I love to dance. It's, I think most of the arts, I'm attracted to them. 
even if it's just watch or whatever in dance well I started that path when I was like three years old I was a ballet dancer from the age of three till 16 or something I'm 22 now so I stopped a couple of years ago uh, because I started to focus just in acting and yeah, but I, that dancing is another way to express yourself, and I feel free when I do it. Can you tell us how proud your family is of you and what you're doing? Yes, my family, my mom, my dad, they're super proud of me, and and I'm happy, because they always believe in me. They were not the kind of family that says, like, oh, no, you're not going to make it, or like, oh, you know, like this quote, like, oh, you're not going to make good money or whatever. They weren't like that at all. They were always super supportive. My mother, she used to take me to my acting classes. My father used to take me to my acting classes and dancing classes. So I'm super thankful with them. And it's like a little bit giving them back what they did to me when I was younger. Okay. Do you, what do you like better, television or movies and why? I like both of them. They are so magic. I think I love, yeah. I would love to do movies and series, just that they are amazing. But not as an actress, if, if I'm just like, let's say, I'm going to watch something, I think I'd rather go to the movies and watch it on the big screen. Okay. But for me, acting, I just love to be in the field, let's say. Here's one of my favorite questions. Do you get up on the stage and perform? I'm sorry, what did Do you, you get up on a stage and perform? Because a lot of people, a lot of actors and actresses, they don't like to do stage work. They like TV, they yeah, like yeah. film, but they don't like TV. I've done it before. I've done mm -hmm. it before back in Mexico, in mean, a couple of plays. And I really, really enjoyed it. But I think my passion is like series and movies. I don't know. It's different. You have more time to do things. I don't even know why. I'm going to tell you why, but I really, really love to be on set. Okay. But I also like the feeling to be close to the audience and that actually you can get a feedback. Not a specific feedback, like they're not going to talk to you, but you can get a feedback of what you're doing. If, if, if it's, I don't know, a comedy, if they're laughing, then you're doing good. And then, you know, it's not like you have to be really aware of what's going on. Of course, on, on set, on film or television too, but theater is just like you feel you're super close to that. And that's an amazing feeling and experience. Got you. A couple more questions. Advice to young ladies, because there's a lot of them out there. They want to be an actress. What would you tell them? I would tell them to do it, like, to believe in yourself. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do something because you're capable. And it doesn't matter where you're from, how you look, what's your gender, whatever. You can, you can make it. You okay. just have to focus and, and study, of course. Pre right. Preparation. Right, because the importance of going to school. Would you tell us how yeah. you feel about that? super important it, it depends on what you're doing in life if you want to be a doctor of course you have to go to university on all, all of this stuff and I'm not saying that you should not go to school not at all but if you're an artist you should go to an art school and sometimes parents don't understand that and they take you to like a normal school and that's fine you're gonna learn stuff but on the field when you're working it might be way much better if you study arts or theater or if you don't prepare it's gonna be super hard and if you're talented and you prepare, oh my god, you're like, you're gonna make it, like, for sure. Gotcha. What's the biggest goal that you have in this business? Uh, the, my biggest goal, my biggest dream is to be in a movie in Hollywood. That would be awesome. And of course, the win an Oscar. Everyone dreams about it. <laughs> Well, Ella Fur, we want to thank you very much for taking the time to give us some in good insight and deep into what you're doing. Thank you very, very much. Thank and best you. wishes. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy. And you guys can follow me at Eliver Torres. Thank you so much for this interview.